Oh yes. Yes, we bless you, Jehovah God. We glorify you. Yes, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Yes, Debrozuke Debrozantarabagatere Shadaba. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Be glorified. Be magnified. Maresu de brosi da bagate isha da barando breka da barasha da bakata. Oh, we give you praise as we give you glory, Jehovah God. We worship you this day once again. Mareke isha da brosu de broka da barante brosu kada bashata. Reke de brosu de brosi kaya da bajate. Marra kada brozu kaya da broze kada broze kada baza da broze kada baranda da da baba zande. Rake ya da broze kada barase de brozu ka. This is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We'll be glad in this day. Why don't you start um, inviting everybody else to join us today in the name of Jesus Christ? And don't forget that today here on Talk, we'll be discussing. Most of you know the subject of the matter today that we're going to be talking about. Today we are going to tackle dealing with the spirit of not enough. That's what we're going to be dealing with tonight. So I want you to take this opportunity to be in the presence of the Lord. Invite more people as you normally as you know how it goes. Start inviting other people to join us tonight to pray. Let us know where you're joining us from. We arise to decree and declare that this is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will be glad in this day. We declare that there's no weapon that is formed against us on this day that shall be able to prevail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that this is a day that the Lord has made. Esther Kebaya, you're welcome. Uh, yes, um, Gitao Nyaguthi, Gitao Jenny Mburu, you're welcome. From Seattle is in the house in the name of the Lord. Mary Nduta, you're welcome. Pauline, Aunt Pauline, Mary, you're welcome. Bremto, uh, Bredemto, you're welcome. My sister Karen Monene, Jay, I mean, uh, Mama Jane in Juguna, Moti, the art, you're welcome. In the name, Jack Malumba, my son, you're welcome. Mona Peterson, Cyrus, you're welcome. Uh, Puyo Biggie, and then Jorge Caroline, you're all welcome. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us begin to invite other people to join us while we get ready to pray tonight. Just begin to click the plus button as you invite other people to join us in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Yes, I see your current rouses in the house and welcome everybody. Just click the plus button and start inviting other people to join us tonight as we take authority over this day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of the Living God, Shake de Brosuta Bahan de Broca, Rekete Brosuda Bagan de Brosuda Bacarabo Shadabacata, Rekede Brosuda Bagan de Brosude Boca Shadabacanta Daba, Rekede Brosuda Baran de Debo Shadabacande de Debo Shadabaca. Come on, somebody, begin to prepare your spirit, man. Prepare your spirit, man. Recalibrate your spirit, man. Reinvigorate your spirit, man. By praying in the spirit this hour, by clicking the plus button and inviting other people to join us as we pray. These are crucial moments that we are in as a nation of Kenya, as a body of believers. Yes, these are prayers concerning destiny, concerning our lives, concerning the destiny of our nation in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. If there is any time, if there is any time that it has ever been necessary for us to pray and say that let your will be done, these are the moments that we need to cry out the will of heaven to be established upon our lives, upon our city, upon our nation, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe the same for those of you who love and wish the well-being of our nation in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Today we're going to be dealing with a mixture of prayers in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to make sure that in every single bullet that we're going to be shooting up tonight, it's going to touch our nation. It's going to touch. And we're going to aggressively take authority in those areas concerning the city, concerning the nation, 
concerning the coming elections. It's on the 8th of the 8th as we begin to decree that the destiny of Kenya shall fall in the hands of Jehovah God and not in any uh, power of darkness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we decree that peace shall prevail in our cities, peace shall prevail in our borders, and the enemy shall not rejoice, shall not have any power to gloat and rejoice over our city and our nation. So we arise today to decree and declare that this is a day that our Heavenly Father has made in the name of Jesus Christ. So I welcome you all in Jesus' mighty name. Keep clicking the plus button and inviting more people to join us. Violet, you're welcome. Lucy Kamothi, you're welcome. In the name of the Lord and Vicky, you're welcome. This is a day. Pastor Bobby Smith, you, you are welcome, sir. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Apostle Prince Baguma, you're welcome as well. So we arise today to decree and declare that this is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in this day. My sister Yvette Sanchez, Benjamin, my son Kitu, you're welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Now today we're talking about the subject for today, dealing with not enough, dealing with not just enough. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, dealing with the spirit of not enough. That's what we're going to be dealing with today. But however, I want us to take um, opportunity today to usher in the kingdom of God. I want us to usher in the sovereignty of God, the rule of God. When we talk about your kingdom has come, we are ushering in the rule and the reign of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We want um, the kingdom of God to prevail over this nation. We are saying, Father, take authority over this nation. Take authority. And today we are going to intercept any demonic agenda of bloodshed during these elections. There will be no blood. There will be no loss of lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Yeah, I was meant to travel, but I've decided to stay in the nation for, for, for the reason. Of, um, I want to stay here. I want to be in prayer uh, while our nation is going through the polling. As people are going through the polling, I mean, to the po- as we go to the polls, as people go to elect, so that we can um, intercede, we can pray. Um, we know that there's been um, uh, here uh, signals from the heaven to cause us to pray more concerning the nation. Uh, we have seen visions of bloodshed. We've seen all those kind of things. But I believe the Bible has also allowed us as children of God, as heaven's legislators to stand in the gap to resist. And we tonight, we're, gonna, we're not going to pray prayers that are um, for ch- chicken, we're gonna pray eagles' prayers, prayers for a lion. We're gonna contend for the power, for the will of God to prevail over this nation, and we're gonna stand and say, "Let your kingdom come, let your will be done." In the name of Jesus Christ, what we pray is that the agenda of God. Yes, Apostle Baguma, I agree with you. We pray that the agenda of God, as we intensify this prayer, we pray that the agenda of the King of Kings will suffice. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that the arm of the Lord will be released upon and the, the upon the nation. So we're going to pray prayers that are going to release the power of God against the powers of the enemy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we will not be threatened by the will of the devil. Satan is not going to t- threaten this nation. Yes, I was, uh, I was to have a trip uh, to the UK and uh, also to my motherland, Uganda, but I decided to stay in Kenya. And um, so I want to be here because this is where God called me. And I'm going to pray and I'm going to, I'm joining the rest of my fellow pastors as we pray for the peace to prevail. It, it, this, the nation is, it, it is in, in intensity, but we're going to pray the agenda of God. It is in, the, there's, the climate is intense and you have been seeing the news, whatever things that are going on. But nonetheless, the will of God must prevail. And I pray that all our young men, our youth who are listening to this stream today who may watch i pray that uh, they, they will not allow the devil to use you as the youth do not allow anybody to misuse you or to send you to kill anybody but let peace prevail in our city and that's what we're gonna pray we're not just gonna appeal to humans 
because everybody appeals to them oh don't do this don't do that but we're gonna go to the higher we're gonna go into the realm of the supernatural and besides that they have done the appealing in the natural but we're going to abort we're going to deal with the powers of violence that want to shed blood and we are we are going because God has not given us the spirit of fear God has given us a spirit of power and of a sound mind so we're gonna pray and terminate we're gonna intercept every demonic agenda concerning our lives, concerning our city, concerning our cities and 45 counties in this nation. And we, we are saying no to demonic forces in the name of Jesus Christ. There will, there will be no bloodshed. So as we combine these prayers, I want us to also continue to remember our brothers in Pakistan, the team for Apostle Liz Wamaida that has been arrested for preaching Jesus. And um, we pray that um, get the justice will prevail. We decree and declare they will not lose their lives. So as we pray, let us pray, um, um, and uh, we're going to use the weapons of our warfare. Scriptures I'm going to give you. We're going to pray prayers to release the sword of the Lord. We're going to pray prayers to release the power of the Lord. So there will be key scriptures um, that, are going to how, that are going to lead us in the direction of how to release the power of God. How do we pray, pray? How do we engage the sword of the Spirit? How do we utilize and wield that sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God? So we're going to address such areas in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ but first and foremost and also we we'll use the blood of Jesus so um, uh, we're going to pray warfare prayers tonight we're not going to be just making jokes I mean however every day no we don't make jokes but we're going to root out every plant that our father has not planted in our systems we're going to deal with that we're going to put that in the name of Jesus Christ we'll pray prayers directly um, that are going to be addressing and rebuking the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ we're going to decree and declare that spoilers we spoilers will not spoil our land but we're going to re- release according to scripture we're going to release the spoilers into the camp of the enemy according to job chapter 12 and verse 17 when you read job 12 17 you will not you will understand what i mean by spoilers we'll ask the lord let the counsel of the wicked be spoiled be spoiled because that is according to scripture let the counsel of the wicked if there is a moment that we needed to say that it is this hour that let the counsel of the wicked uh, be be spoiled in the name of the lord jesus Christ. I welcome you all, men and women of God, brothers and sisters, my friends in the gospel, my covenant friends in the gospel, some of my spiritual fathers. um, My spiritual father is online, and I thank God for all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So right now, I want us to introduce ourselves to the Lord while you click and um, click the plus button, invite more people, connect a, connect a city, connect a destiny, connect a nation while we get ready to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. So right now, I ask you to uh, present yourself as a living sacrifice by the shed blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, before the throne of God. Open your mouth right now and begin to tell my father my god i thank you for this is the day that you have made i rejoice and i'm glad in this day so i arise this day father to give you praise to give you glory my life is available so i come boldly before your throne of grace according to um Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 19 the Bible calls us to come to um, to that the Bible says that we have access to the to the whole to the most holiest place to the holiest place by virtue not of shouting not by virtue of songs not by virtue of praises and worship but the Bible says by the blood of the lamb of God and the Bible says we have access into the holy of holies by way of the blood so open your mouth and tell him father God I thank you because I have access into your most holy place by virtue of the blood of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Therefore I come into your presence this morning I present my body as a living sacrifice by the shed blood of the Lamb of God. And Father I thank you because I have a blood bought right to pray and get answers unto my prayers. And I thank you because all your answers unto my prayers are yes and amen in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the Son of the living God. This day my Father my God I open up myself to 
you. I surrender to you. I surrender my aspirations. I surrender my fears. I surrender my secret hopes. I surrender my defeats. I surrender my victories today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and my Father, my God. I ask you to have mercy upon my soul. Whatever it is that I've spoken, whatever it is that I've imagined and it has not been in line with your word, I ask you to have mercy upon me. Somebody tell him, King of kings and Lord of lords, have mercy upon my soul. Let the imaginations of my heart and the words of my mouth tonight be acceptable unto you in the mighty name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. King of kings and Lord of lords, as I pray today, I ask you to have your way in my life, have your way in my city, have your way in my family, have your way in my nation in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, King of kings and Lord of lords. I ask you to purify me, wash me, and I'll be whiter than the snow. Wash me, and I'll be clean. Purify me. Let anything that would hinder my answered prayer be erased, be removed out of my life, Jehovah God. I surrender once again. I rededicate my life to you. Somebody tell him, I rededicate my life to you by virtue of the blood of Jesus. King of kings, I thank you because I have... I have access. I enter your gates by the blood of Jesus through thanksgiving. Thanking you because I have a blood boat right. Somebody thank him because you have a blood boat right to pray and get answers unto your prayers. Tell him, Father, I thank you because I have a blood boat right to pray and get answers unto my prayers. And King of kings and Lord of lords, I thank you because I have a blood boat right to pray and the cause changes in my life, in my church in my city, in my nation, and in my generation, King of kings and Lord of lords, I thank you for the power and authority of your word, because the Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, but your word remaineth forever. And the Bible declares in Jeremiah 20, 23, 29, that your word is a consuming fire, it's a hammer that breaks rocks to pieces. Father, I stand upon the integrity of your word, because your word declares that you have exalted exalted your word above your name you have exalted your word above your name so your word is as good as your name and your name is as good as your word i stand on integrity on the integrity of your word that word that never changes that word that gives me access to the supernatural and that gives me victory i have access to your power through your word through your word i have peace through your word i have my breakthrough through your word i am an anointed and empowered through your word I am protected from all harm from all danger through your word I have power and authority over the enemy and today I exalt your word today I glorify your name I glorify your word your word is highly exalted above every entity above every personality or force or power that is represented in the supernatural and in the natural father your word is fire your word according to Jeremiah is a consuming fire. It's a hammer. It's a hammer that breaks rocks to pieces. My God, you are the one who has exalted your word above your name. Father God, I rejoice in your word. Your word revives my spirit. It is your word that gives me insight and understanding. By your word were the heavens according to Psalms chapter 33 and verse 6. By your word were the heavens created. Our oh God and the host of them and the host and the host of them by the breath of your mouth tonight we stand on your unchangeable word I stand on your boundless word the scripture tells me that your word is boundless your word is unlimited your word cannot be caged cannot be boxed father I stand on your unchallengeable word nothing can challenge your word you sent your word and healed our diseases you sent your word and delivered our nations it was your word that you sent through Moses that delivered Israel out of Egypt. It is still your word that delivers our nation in such a moment like this. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, while all houses are silent, my God, as we are going to the polls, as houses are silent and fear has been covering our nations, with our nation during these elections, Father, we stand as a body of Jesus Christ. We come tonight joined by all our brothers and sisters across the globe. We join our faith today. Father, 
We appeal to your word still where you have said in Matthew chapter 18 and verse and, and verse 19 that when two shall agree, when two shall agree as touching anything, anything regarding any issue on earth and they pray and they ask and they are not as touching anything on earth and they ask in my name, my heavenly father will do it. Father, we make a symphony. We come in agreement, Jehovah God, as regards to the issues pertaining our lives pertaining the body of Jesus Christ in our nation and the nations around the world pertaining the coming elections on the 8th of this month Jehovah God we thank you because you are a faithful God we thank you because you are a mighty God I have never seen no man or woman who trusts in you and is embarrassed my father the Bible says that those who look up to you according to Psalms chapter 30 the Bible tells me those who look up to you they are radiant and their faces will never be covered with shame. We look up to you today. I look up to somebody tell him, my father my God you have said that those who look up to you, they are radiant. Their faces will never be covered with shame. Father we look up to you this morning. We look up to you today and we are certain that our faces will never, shall never be covered with shame. King of kings and lord of lords we magnify your name this day we glorify your name this day. We said be glorified in our nation. Be glorified in our lives today. Oh come on somebody today open your mouth. Uh, begin to tell him my father my God your kingdom has come. Your kingdom has come. Let your will be done in our lives today. Let your will be done in our lives today. Lord of lords everlasting father as we pray today it is our desire it is our prayer that let your will be done. Let your will be done in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the author and the finish of my faith somebody holler let your kingdom come uh -huh. let your kingdom come let your will be done in our lives let your kingdom come let your will be done in my family let your kingdom come Sida barra zebro kada barra ta jede bro suda barra kade bro zuda marra kade bro zuda barra sada barra ta jada barra kada barra te bro zuda barra ta jede bro zuda barra kada barra ta jada barra kada barra ta we are going to make kingdom decrease this hour shade bro suda barra ta open your mouth and my father I present myself I'm available I'm available in the name of Jesus Christ jada barum reza da barra sede bo Somebody open your mouth and say, according to Matthew 6 10, right now we are beginning to make this decrease. We are ushering in the kingdom of God in our lives, in our nation. We are ushering in the kingdom of God before we, uh, we talk, before we do. Before we act, before we act, we tackle any the agenda of the day, we want to first of all give this this opportunity to give priority to ushering in the kingdom of God. So you see where the kingdom of God comes in. All other kingdoms, for the Bible says in Revelation chapter of chapter fifteen, verse eleven b, and the Bible says the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of His Christ. So all the kingdoms the territories, whatever they are, the main satanic domains and systems, we are going to subjugate them. We are going to bring them under, in the name of Jesus, any demonic power that is seeking for bloodshed during these elections, we are saying no. And we arise as a kingdom of other, as children of God. Open your mouth and say, my father, my God, we come in agreement in the name of Jesus. You have said when two shall agree as touching anything on earth and they ask in the name of Jesus, heaven Father, that you would do it for us. Now, Father, you say that in your word, where two or three are, 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 are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst of them. Father, in Jesus' name, we know that in the realm of the supernatural, there is no distance. My Father, we come in fellowship with our brothers and sisters from all over the world. We lift up the destiny of this nation. Father, we confess the sins of our people. We confess the sins of our political leaders. Forgive the sins of the spirit spiritual leadership and the political leadership my father my god we come in agreement with your word 
oh God of Daniel we appeal we come according to Daniel chapter 4 and chapter 4 and verse 9 but chapter 9 and verse 4 where you say that chapter 9 and verse 4 you said it in the book of Daniel Lord oh God you alone are the great and uh, and dreadful God you alone are the great and dreadful God keeping your covenant of love and mercy to them who love you and keep the demands of your covenant but however today we appeal to your word we appeal to your word Jehovah God we appeal to your word according to second Chronicles chapter 7 from verse 13 to 16 where King of Kings and Lord of Lords you have said if I shut up the heavens and there be no rain or send the locusts to devour the land or send deadly pestilences among my people but if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and they seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven above I will forgive their sins and I will heal their lands then my eyes will be open and my ears attentive unto the prayers that are offered in this place for I have sanctified this place for my heart for my uh, my heart to be there perpetually father we are the people called after your name we stand in the God Jehovah God do not allow the heavens over my nation to shut up to be shut up Jehovah God we appeal to your word my father we confess our sins and the sins of our fathers and the mothers of this land Jehovah God in such an intensity my God towards the elections of God we stand as the body of Jesus Christ father did you not say according to Matthew 18 and verse 18 you said whatsoever we shall forbid on earth whatsoever we shall forbid on earth and it shall be forbidden in heaven father we come as a body of Jesus Christ we stand on the integrity and the infallibility of your word we stand upon the power of your word Jehovah God we are not oh God coming based on our righteousness but we come based on the righteousness of your son Jesus Christ Jehovah God we cry out for mercy we are not interceding because we are the best but because Jehovah God when you said that you sought for a man according to Ezekiel 22 30 you said that you sought for a man who would stand in the gap to make intercession on behalf of the city on behalf of the nation so that your wrath would not be poured and father you didn't find anybody here we are we are more than one we are more than 20 father we gather today in the name of Jesus so we confess our sins and the sins of our people somebody tell them I confess my sins <coughs> and the sins of my political leaders my father my God we appeal to the God of justice Abraham asked you you the God of you the judge of all the earth will you destroy the wicked together with the righteous and father you told him that if you can find one righteous man you would not destroy the entire nation my father my God may you find us to be acceptable in your eyes in your sight tonight somebody tell him, my father I surrender my pride I surrender my all my, my, oh, my arrogance king of kings and lord of lords tell him whatever would hinder my answered prayer tonight father take it away from me father remove it away from my life tell him in your wrath remember mercy in your anger do not destroy somebody tell him Jehovah God merciful father in your wrath remember mercy in your anger do not destroy remember your love remember your compassions they last forever we appeal to your loving kindness we appeal to your compassions which they fail not do not allow our beautiful nation to turn out like Syria to turn out like Iraq to turn out Jehovah God like Libya do not allow our the enemy to Jehovah God to penetrate our nation do not allow him Jehovah God to have a say I don't care whether they are anacondas I don't care whether they are some petines ah we appeal to your word you say to us in Luke 10 19 the behold I give you power and authority to tread upon serpents scorpions and all over the powers of the enemy you said nothing shall harm us by any means we appeal to your loving kindness somebody tell him my father my God let grace and mercy 
prevail over my life. Let grace and mercy prevail over my nation. Let grace and mercy prevail over our world. Let your grace and mercy prevail over the other cities and the nations where people are intimidated. Let your grace and mercy prevail over the missionaries, our fellow missionary team that has been held in, uh, in Pakistan. Father, let grace and mercy prevail. In your wrath, remember mercy. In your anger, do not allow the enemy to boast. King of kings and Lord of lords, listen to the supplications of our hearts. My Father, my God, you said when we turn to you, you will turn to us. We appeal to the God who said to us in James chapter 4 and verse 8, where you said, you said, King of kings, that if you if we draw nigh, you will draw nigh unto us. My Father, you said if we draw nigh, you will draw nigh unto us as, as we draw nigh to you. We ask you, let grace and mercy prevail over our lives. Let grace and mercy prevail over our lives. Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus, we cry to you. We cry to you, Jehovah God. Marasude brosida bakata. Jada bakumbre zadabarata. Jada barakadabarata. Yes, Lord. We have heard of your speech and we were afraid. Oh, Lord, revive your work in the midst of many years. In the midst of the years, make it known, Jehovah God. In wrath, remember mercy. In wrath, remember mercy in your anger. Do not destroy Jehovah God. Do not allow the enemy to rejoice over our lives. Do my father when we when there is bloodshed, it does not bring glory to your name. Bloodshed. Father, you said in Psalms, I believe it is Psalms 68, you said you hate war. You said you, you cause the war to cease. You break the bow and cause the walls to cease. King of kings and Lord of lords, the God that hates war. I appeal to the God that hates war. I appeal to the God who breaks the bow and causes, the, and causes war to cease. You are the God that I'm appealing to. You are the God that we are calling upon you. Jehovah God in Jesus name. Remember mercy in Jesus mighty name. Remember mercy Jehovah God. Our nation oh God is a nation of little children and little women. Little girls and women. My God helpless women and children. Jehovah God remember. Remember Kenya remember mercy. Do not allow what happened in 2007. My father Oh God, in 2013, to repeat today, do not allow the same demon to haunt our nation. Jehovah God, we stand. Jehovah God, we stand in the gap. We stand in the gap in the name. We stand in the gap in the name of Jesus. We cry to you. Let grace and mercy prevail over our cities. My Father, we present to you the 45 counties. We present the 43 tribes. We present Jehovah God. Maresuga da Kata Marake de Brozu Kadabarata. We present the forty. We present all the counties, Jehovah God. We present the forty-three tribes and the forty-seven counties. We lay them before you, Jehovah God. We connect every county to the throne of God today. We connect every town and every village to the to the throne of God today. We come to the altar. We appeal to the higher altar, the altar of all altars, the altar which is the throne of of God, the altar of the cross of Jesus. Father, we don't care how many human sacrifices they may have made. We don't care how many blood, what animals they have slaughtered, what demons they have conjured, whatever utterances and incantations and spells and voodoo, black magic, whatever demonic power they have consulted. We consult to the higher. We have come to consult the higher office. We appeal to the higher office. We appeal to the higher office. Father, we pray. Let your grace and mercy prevail over our leadership prevail over the prevail over the body of Jesus Christ father in Jesus name right now we cry to you and we say in accordance to Matthew 6 10 now you say to us when we pray that we should invite your kingdom we know that we are inviting your rule your governance. Father God vain is the help of man. According to Psalms 108 8 and verse and verse 12 it is said that the vain is the help of men. My father my God the help of our political leaders is vain. The help of the army is vain. Only you Jehovah God can arrest the will of men. Only you can arrest the will of Satanists. Only you can arrest the will of the shooters. King of kings and lord of lords. Your 
kingdom come your kingdom come your will be done your kingdom come let your governance we invite your governance we invite your rule we invite your power let your kingdom come your kingdom come let your will be done in Kenya your kingdom come let your will be done in this election your will not the will of the enemy do not permit the will of the devil my father will stand as the body of Jesus Christ oh Jehovah God your kingdom come let your will be done let your will be done in our homes let your will be done in our streets let your will be done in our, in our villages in our neighborhoods Jehovah God in the name of Jesus Christ only you can arrest the will of the devil and the will of men only you can capture their wills so we come we appeal to the higher throne to the higher throne we appeal to the highest of highest of altars which is your throne father we connect our nation we connect our cities to your throne somebody open your mouth and say your kingdom come let your will be done in our lives let your will be done in my life let your will be done in my family let your will be done in my nation let your will be done in my cities somebody join us as you pray not only for Kenya but also for your nation but also for everything that is around you you can tell me your kingdom has come let your will be done in my life your kingdom has come let your will be done during these elections Jehovah God as we stand my father we invite your will don't allow what happened in 2007 and 13 to happen once again in these elections father consider the threats that are going on tonight consider the threats of the enemy and Lord spare us in this season spare us Jehovah God spare our little ones spare our homes Jehovah God don't allow the enemy to take advantage of these elections your kingdom we invite your will we invite Jehovah God your will be done your will be done. Somebody open your mouth according to Matthew 4 23. Tell him let your kingdom advance and be established through our intercession. Tell him my father my God let your kingdom advance and be established through our preachings through our teachings through our intercessions through oh God the demonstration of your grace your kingdom is righteousness your word has said to me your kingdom is righteousness joy and a peace in the Holy Ghost we invite your kingdom your kingdom is a kingdom of righteousness joy and a peace in the Holy Ghost we invite your kingdom in Kenya we invite let your kingdom which is a kingdom of righteousness joy and peace in the Holy Spirit let it be what prevails in this election let it be what prevails from tonight where someone are covering of peace where someone are covering of God somebody open your mouth according to Psalms 24 and verse 7 child of God open your mouth and say let the gates of my life let the gates of my sin let the gates of my nation be opened for the king of glory to come in king of glory come in king of glory let the gates of Nairobi city let the gates of all the counties let the gates of Kenya open up right now be opened for the king of glory to come in king of glory we welcome you king of glory we welcome you king of glory come in take over every demonic altar oh my father my God king of glory come in according to Psalms 24 7 oh my father let the gates of my life, let the gates of my family, let the gates of my ministry, let the gates of my town, let the gates of my city, let the gates of our counties, let the gates of our towns, let the gates of Kenya be opened up for the King of Glory to come in. King of Glory coming in our nation. Intervene, King of Glory, King of Glory, the Lord strong and mighty in battle. We welcome you tonight. 
welcome strong and mighty in battle let the gates of my city let the gates of this nation let the gates of my nation be opened up so that the king of glory may come in as you come in tonight come in with your strong armor come in with fire come in with your glory oh strong and mighty in battle mighty man of war the God that breaks the bow the God that breaks the one causes breaks the bow and causes the war to seize we appeal to you come in Jehovah God come in Jehovah God barrasuke de barrata jada barraka de brosuda bagata shaka de brosumbra gada barrata jada barraka de barrata mighty man of war raka de barraka min marraka de bazata we stand upon the power and authority of your word somebody open your mouth and tell him I stand upon the power and authority of your word and I command the gates of my city I command the gates of this nation I command you be opened up let the king of glory come in let the prince of peace come in rakadabarata jadabarakadabarata we give you earthly permission reign and rule over this nation reign and rule over our cities rapuke de baranda zagada baraso de bagata rakade bo shada barata shaprega maragade borata marakade barata open your mouth right now you're going to ask the lord to reign right now according to psalms 93 verse 1 and 2 we're going to ask him to reign tell him lord you reign decree make that decree say Lord you reign I decree that you, you, you reign Lord you reign over Kenya Lord you reign over every boy and girl Lord you reign over every youth Lord you reign over the army Lord you reign over the police Lord you reign over the leadership Lord you reign Lord you reign over every county Lord you reign over every sub county Lord you reign over every town and village Lord you reign somebody decree that Lord you reign Lord you reign over our nation because you reign there will be no bloodshed Lord you reign there will be no death there will be no violence Lord you reign over the spirit of violence Lord you reign over any demonic power that requires blood Lord you reign somebody according to the word of God decree that Lord you reign speak according to Psalms 93 verse 1 and 2 tell him Lord you reign it's a decree that reverses that actually when you declare that Lord you reign you are nullifying you are actually you are now you are altering every other power that was assuming role that was assuming a place of leadership over the city over the nation tell him Lord you reign Lord you reign. Two major generals cannot rule the same city, the same nation of God. Two kings cannot rule in the same territory. Lord we crown you as Lord and Master. We crown you as Lord and King over our city, over our nation. No any other power can reign. Lord when you reign according to Psalms 93 verse 1 and 2, Lord you reign. In these elections Lord you reign. You can diversify the prayer point. Not only are you praying for we us and for us in these coming elections but you are praying for your life you it doesn't matter the circumstances you can lift up the voice and say Lord you reign in this situation Lord you reign in my family Lord you reign in my ministry Lord you reign by just by virtue of that utterance and recognition and acknowledgement that the Lord reigns you have just right now displaced any power that was reigning over that atmosphere decree the Lord you reign yes Lord you reign Lord you reign in Kenya Lord you reign in Nairobi Lord you reign in the 45 con- counties Jehovah God Lord you reign Lord you reign over every tribe Lord you reign over the youth Lord you reign Rakibu Sadabagata in the name of Jesus Lord you reign over my body over my spirit over my soul Lord you reign Lord you reign Lord you reign Lord you reign over this region over this territory Lord you 
reign over the army, over the police, Marakadabarata, over the NYS, the National Youth Service. Lord, you reign over all of them. Lord, you are reigning. Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. Because you reign, no weapon formed against our nation shall be able to be established. Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. No power of darkness will override because you reign. Because you reign, I don't see no power that is able to overtake and override and confuse and destroy our nation. Lord, you reign over Kenya. Lord, you reign over the elections. I don't care what demon. I don't care its hierarchy. I don't care. There is no demon that is greater than our God. Marakete brozuka da barata. Maraka da barata. Jada maraka da barata. Maraka da barata. Jada barata. Jada maraka da barata. Jada barata. Jada barata. Lord, you reign. You are clothed in with majesty. You are clothed with royalty. You are clothed with glory. Somebody tell him, Lord, you reign. You are clothed with glory. You are clothed with the strength. You don't only reign. You are clothed with the strength. You are clothed with the strength. You got yourself. Somebody tell him, Lord, you reign. You are clothed with majesty and strength. Tell them your throne is established of old. Your throne is established. No demonic altar shall be able to be established. No demonic altar can prevail. Your throne, Jehovah God. Your throne, Jehovah God, is established forever. Maragita, decree and tell them your throne is established forever by virtue of that word that your world is also established. It cannot be moved. It cannot be shaken. Raketa brozuka. Open your mouth and say the Lord reigns. His throne is established forever from of old. Therefore it cannot be shaken. Jadabarade brozuka dabarata. Jadabaraka dabarata sobrega jada. Open your mouth and tell him you are from everlasting. Your throne is of old. You are from everlasting. Jadaba Kambrozuta. Jadaba Kandebrozu Kadabarata. Rakadabarra Zadabarata. Marakadabarra Zadabarata. Open your mouth. Speak in the atmosphere. According to Psalms 95 and verse 3. Open that mouth wide and say, Lord, you are a great king above all gods. Let us highly exalt him. You are a great king above all gods. Above all demonic gods, Lord, you are a great king above anaconda, above Leviathan, above pythons. Every anaconda that had opened its mouth to swallow our nation, I decree and declare the Lord reigns. Marekupa Daruki da Bagata is a great king. Our God, you are a great king above all gods. Somebody did decree and declare my God is a great king above all gods remind him God almighty let the enemy know that you know that you know that our God is a great king above all gods I don't care what gods have been consulted but I declare that oh God you are a great king you are a great king above all gods you are a great God and a great king above all gods I declare that my God is greater than the altars of witchcraft the altars of diviners the altars of warlocks the altars and the powers that are, are seeking for blood oh God let the blood seekers and eaters and flesh eaters eat their own any power seeking for blood and flesh let them eat their own flesh drink their own blood but there is no blood of Kenyans there's no blood of nation, foreign nationals that shall be drunk or eaten in the name of Jesus Christ Subregazata, Borraca de Barraza de Barata, Marraca de Barra, Suda Barraca, Jadabaca de Brozuda, Raga, Jedebro, Cadabarata, Jedebo, Cambragata, Recadebo, Shadabarra de Brozuca, Marraca de Barra, Subregazata, Jadabarraca. 
In the name of Jesus, we're going to go to Psalms 96. Psalms 96, it says in verse 10. Psalms 96, yes, hallelujah. The Lord reigns. Psalms 96, we are going to decree to any evil gathering. We're going to decree to them that let the heathen hear that the Lord reigns. Yeah, we want them to hear. It will not be silence. Right now, there's going to be a sound that is being released as you pray in the atmosphere. In the realm of the spirit, open your mouth and say, the Lord reigns, let the heathen hear. Let the heathen hear that the Lord reigns. Tell him, my father, my God, let the heathens hear that the Lord reigns in my city. Let the heathen hear that the Lord reigns in my nation. Let the heathen hear. Let the evil forces hear that the Lord reigns. That the Lord reigns. Jada bruzuka da barata. Jaga da bruzuda barata. Let the heathen then here let the blood suckers and the flesh eaters hear that the Lord reigns Jade Bruzuka de Barata Jada Barragede Borazata Jede Borragede Bruzuka Maresu de Bruzika Jada Barragada Borreke de Bruzuta Jada Barragede Bosata Jada Barreke de Bosuka Marraze de Boshada Barragata So open that mouth and declare let the heathens hear that is psalms 96 10 let the heathens let the heathen hear that the lord reigns let every evil gathering hear that the lord reigns over my life over my city over my nation over my house order no let the heathen hear let the powers that were opposing that were threatening and seeking bloodshed let them hear that the lord reigns my father, my God, let them hear that you reign in the atmosphere, in the hemisphere, in the atmosphere. That Lord, you reign in the in this region, in the in the in the in this territory. Ira zebro gadabarata, jedebo kambrozida, borra gadabarata, mara sopre gazanda. Shout of God, open your mouth according to Psalms 99 and verse one, and make that decree. Say Lord, you reign, let the people tremble. Lord, you reign, let every demon tremble. Somebody open your mouth, Psalms 99 and verse 1. Tell him, Lord, you reign. Let the people tremble. Let the people tremble. Tell him, Lord, you reign. Mashaka, Psalms 103 and verse 19 is our next prayer point. Open your mouth and tell him, Lord, you reign. Let tell him, Lord, you have prepared your throne in the heavens and your kingdom rules over all. You're going to decree that the kingdom of God rules over all. Somebody open your mouth and tell him, oh Lord, you have prepared. That is Psalms 103 and verse 19. That's our next prayer point. Tell him, Lord, you have prepared your throne in the heavens. Lord, you have prepared your throne in the heavens and your kingdom rules over all. Your kingdom rules over all. Psalms 103 and verse 19 open your mouth and make that decree Lord you have prepared your throne yeah we know there, there, there are other evil thrones according the Bible says there are other thrones of darkness but we declare that the throne of God is highly exalted above satanic thrones above demonic thrones and we decree and declare this morning that Lord you have prepared your throne in the heavens and your kingdom rules over all your kingdom rules over all begin to decree and declare that your kingdom rules over all my affairs rules over all the affairs of my of my nation of my 
city. Lord, you have a highly exalted. You have prepared your throne in the heavens and your kingdom ruleth over all. Let your kingdom rule now as we pray. Let your kingdom rule in this season, my father. Let your kingdom rule and reign. You are welcome, Stasia. Rakada barata brozuka, marakete brozuka. We are praying. We are making kingdom prayers. Le sumi, you're welcome. We are making kingdom de- kingdom prayers and decrees. We are ushering in the kingdom of God in regards to the coming elections, even in our personal lives. We are ushering in the kingdom of God. We we know that the kingdom of God is the rule of God, and we are ushering in that kingdom right now in this prayers. Open your mouth now. We are proceeding. Still Psalms 103. Let us go down to verse 22, and we're gonna pray Psalms 100. And three and verse 22. Let us open our mouth and begin to pray. Say, so Let men bless the Lord in all places of his dominion. You see that one? Hey, let men bless the Lord in all places of his dominion, whether they like or not. Let men, let men bless, let men praise the Lord in all places of his dominion. Let open your mouth and make the decree, my Father, my God, in this season. In this season of my life and nation, open your mouth and tell them, let men bless you. Let men bless the Lord in this nation. We command by the power and authority of the word of God, let men bless the Lord in all his places of dominion. We command in the name of Jesus Christ, let men in this nation bless the lord in his places of dominion in all his places of dominion bless the lord all his works bless the lord all his works in all places of his dominion bless the lord shadabagata burakidi brozuka In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I want us to proceed to Psalms 145. I want us to proceed to Psalms 145, and verse 13. And let us now decree and declare, said your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Somebody decree, let the powers of darkness know. Because you're not telling God, God he already knows. God knows that his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. But open your mouth and declare. Let the enemy know that you know. Tell him your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And your dominion, dominion in the Bible, dominion refers the right to rule and reign. The right to rule and reign. Now you are praying for this nation in this period as you pray for your life. As you diversify the prayer point from your life to our nation to your nation in the name of Jesus because I believe in this season we need more prayers than your nations need because of, I believe you've been following the news so basically yeah we are contending for peace so it, it is important for us to arrest to arrest the perpetrators, the architects of violence and demonic powers. They're the ones that come to influence the affairs and the mannerisms of men. But if we can arrest them, then there's nothing they can be able to do in the natural. Open your mouth and say, your kingdom. Now we are praying according to Psalms 145.13. My son, Masha, you're welcome, Banis Marshall, and my son, uh, uh, um, 
my son Zach, you're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ and Eva Minor, you're welcome. We are praying right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Open your mouth and decree that dick that prayer. The prayer point we said when we were beginning. I say to you when we, we were beginning, I say to you that that we are going to engage the weapon of the word of God. For God has exalted his word above his name. The, the word of God is the gateway to the power of God. It's a pathway to everything that we require. The authority of God is embedded in his word. We are praying the word. Psalms 143, 13. We are appealing to God. We are not making empty. We are manufacturing prayer. You know, we are, pr we are not just praying. We are creating prayer in line with the word of God. Psalms 145 and verse 13. If the word of God is clear. It says your kingdom is everlasting. Your kingdom, that's a prayer point. Open your mouth. Declare my father, my God. Your kingdom is, everlast is an everlasting kingdom. And your dominion, your right to rule and reign. And you as throughout all generations. Now, you see that scripture? There is, a, there is a portion we can pick for prayer point. It says, your dominion endures. It says, your dominion. Your dominion endures throughout all generations. Oh, my Father, my God, let your dominion, your right to rule and reign, let it endure in Kenya during these elections. Your dominion endures, my God, throughout all generations. Father, we appeal to your dominion. Let your dominion begin to prevail. In this period, my Father, my God, your dominion endures throughout all all generations then let it prevail let it prevail over our lives let it prevail over our cities let it prevail over our nations let it prevail over our continents let it prevail over the nations of the world your kingdom is from everlasting to everlasting it is an eternal kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus and your dominion your dominion endures throughout all generations. Let your enduring dominion, my father, be exercised over our lives, over our cities, over our nations. Mashada bagada brozuka, jedebro sada barande brozuka, jada baraka de brozuta baranda, raka de barra zobrega jada, raka de bara 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 bazata, maraka de bara bara bazata. In Jesus' mighty name. We are going to pray according to um, Matthew 12 and 22. We are going to ask the Lord according to the scripture that let your kingdom come through deliverance. Let your kingdom come through peace. Let your kingdom come through open doors. Let your kingdom come through unity. Let your kingdom come through deliverance. My Father, my God, let your kingdom come through deliverance. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Through peace. Let your kingdom come. Marakata, that's Matthew chapter 12 and 22. Jada barakada barata, jada barakada barada barada barata. Yes, the Bible says in uh, Matthew 12, 22 that uh, then one, then one was brought to him who was a demon possessed, uh, uh, blind and, and blind. And the Bible says there, uh, 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 blind and mute, and he healed him so that a blind man and mute was both able to speak and so and to see. And and let us ask the Lord, let your kingdom. Let your kingdom come. My God, let your kingdom come through deliverance. Let your kingdom come through peace, through liberty. Jada baraka da barata. Jada baraka da barata. Jada baraka. We command maraka da freedom to all those that the enemy has strategically positioned to cause chaos. Father, let your deliverance come. Let your kingdom come through deliverance. Set them free. Release them from such 
demonic powers in the name of Jesus Christ. Shada ba kumbre gada ba rata. Shada ba raka da ba da ba da ba da ba. Maraka da ba da ba da ba subre gazata. Shada ba raka da ba da ba da ba da ba usata. The kingdom of God can come to you through deliverance. It can come through through healing. Maraka da ba da ba suda ba rata. Shada ba raka da through open doors. Tell your open your mouth and say, Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come through peace. Let your kingdom come through liberty. Let your kingdom come. Maraka de Brozuka, name it what you want in the name of Jesus. Shada Bagam Brosuda Barata. Shada Bakande Brozuka de Barata. Shada Baraka de Barabada Bazata. Maraka de Barabada Bazuta Brazata. Shada Baraka de Barabada Bosuda Barata. Romans chapter 14 17. Romans chapter 14 17. Let the righteousness, peace, and joy of the kingdom. Be established in my life. Be established in my family. Be established in my nation. Be established, oh God, during these elections. That is Romans 14 and verse 17. For the Bible says the kingdom of God is righteousness, joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. So you're going to tell the Lord, let the righteousness, let the righteousness, the peace and the joy of the kingdom of God be established in our nation in this season be established in my life Mashada Brozuka somebody pray that is a prayer point it is there it is there just before you for the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost welcome that kingdom tell him my father my God uh, Father God, let the righteousness, let the peace and the joy of the kingdom of God be established in our nation, be established in my life, be established in my marriage, be established in my business, be established in everything that I do. Come on, somebody. Rakede brosuda barata, jada barakada barato bregata, marakude brosuda barata, jada barakada barazo breganda, marakada barazo bregazata. Shada baraka da barra to bregata, burraka de brozunda braga da barata, marraka da bara 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 bazata, shada baraka da bara 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 shada barata, shada baraka da bara 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 suka. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, now we are going to take over demonic territories we are going to decree a takeover over demonic territories over hemispheres over astrospheres over environments over territories over regions and domains according to revelation chapter 11 and verse 15 b revelation 11 15 b the bible says for the kingdoms of this world have become those are systems those are structures any demonic network any demonic system Gumbra Sadabakure Sudabakanto Boregita Rakabumbra Gata. We are taking them over. I feel an anointing as I make the decree. Open your mouth according to the word of God and say, Let the kingdoms of this world, the world is the aeon, that system, that setup, that structure. Let the kingdom, Revelation 11 15 be, let the kingdoms of of this world become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Savior. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jadabakande, let the systems, let the satanic networks, my Father, my God, be brought under the feet of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Shadabareke de Brozuta, Marakini Brozuda Barata, Shadabareke de Barata, open your mouth and say, let the kingdoms of this world, let the systems Systems become the kingdoms of our Lord and of His Christ as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Jada bro suda barra da brazata, jada barra hati, arra kada barra zobre gazata, barra kada bara bara bo, jada barra ta, marra kada bara 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 bazata. And Luke tells us in Luke 12, 32, that it is of God's, God's pleasure. It is of God, God's pleasure, good pleasure to give us the kingdom. So open your mouth and say, Father, I receive the kingdom because it is your good pleasure to give it to me. I receive the kingdom on behalf of my nation. I receive the kingdom for it is your good pleasure to give it to me. I receive the kingdom. What are you receiving? You're receiving his righteousness. You are receiving his joy. 
life. You are receiving his peace. You are receiving his sovereignty. You are receiving his governance. His governance is a governance of justice. Now you are saying, Lord, it is your, it is your good pleasure to give me the kingdom. So, Father, I receive the kingdom. I receive the kingdom because it is. I receive the kingdom because it is your good pleasure to give it to me. I receive it now. I receive it now. Jadabarekini brozu dabaranta. Jadabarando brega dabarato brehando brata. Maraka dabarasa dabarata. Jadabarraka dabarasa dabarata. Jadabarraka dabarata. Open your mouth and tell him, Father, I rejoice to know that as a saint in Christ, I possess the kingdom. I possess the kingdom. Marakete brozuka. According to Daniel 7 20, 22, I as a believer, I am already a possessor. I possess the kingdom of God, the kingdom of righteousness, joy, and peace. I possess it. Therefore, I speak peace. I speak, I speak joy. I speak righteousness to prevail in my city, to prevail in my life and nation, to prevail in my home. That is not enough. Having made us decrease, now we are going to overthrow. We are going to overthrow evil thrones in the name of Jesus Christ. Shada barata, shada barra, kede borosa da barra, de borosa da barata. Bumbra gada barra, sada barra, dobra adi gada bakata. Marakupe tari sudi kara, rekinibu shada ba. We are going to overthrow now. Marra evil thrones, evil thrones. When you study Ephesians, it tells you that um, we were raised together with Christ in, uh, in Ephesians chapter 1 when it talks about uh, from verse around about 19 it says that incomparable 19 says that incomparably great power the same which the same, which is at work in us the same like which was exerted in him when he God raised him from the dead and it talks about verse um, verse 20 it talks uh, to us about that uh, and, and we have been raised uh, above principalities above dominions above powers above thrones it talks about thrones there and uh, you know sir now we're going to we're going to overthrow evil thrones let me let me check for you what I'm talking about the Bible says here um, it talks about here in Ephesians chapter 1 it says it talks about in verse 19 and what is the exceeding ex- exit and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to, toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power and then it talks about it says who, which he walked or wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places it says far above all principality and above power and might and dominion and the name and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come and it talks about here and um, and dominion other versions refer to the word dominion as a thrones so as a throne so basically as we are praying tonight we are going to overthrow the thrones of wicked wicked kingdoms and you may ask me based on what based on Haga based on Haga chapter 2 Haga chapter 2 and verse 22 and that's where we're gonna go Haga Haga chapter 2 and verse 22 if you found your haga in the name of Jesus 2 and verse 22 and it says it says and I will overthrow the throne of the kingdoms and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them and the horses and their riders shall come down every one every one uh, every one by the sword of his brother aha uh-huh. 
Ribo gadabrosu kamande brokaya. That is the word of Jehovah God. That is the word of Jehovah God. Marakidi brozuka. We are got the next prayer point. We are overthrowing. We are overthrowing shadabagata. Borakidi brozuda barata. Evil thrones. Evil thrones. We are going to overthrow them. Haggad 2 22. Overthrow the thrones of the wicked. Open your mouth and tell him, My Father, my God, I appeal to your word in Haggad 2 22. Where you said you will overthrow, you will overthrow the throne of the kingdoms and you will destroy the strength of the kingdoms, of the kingdoms of the heathen, and you will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them, and the horses and their riders shall come down. Oh, everyone, everyone by the sword of his brother. Open your mouth and tell him, faithful covenant keeping God. I appeal to you, arise and overthrow the throne, the thrones, the thrones of the wicked, of the wicked kingdoms in Jesus' name. My Father, my God, arise and overthrow. The, uh, overthrow the thrones of wicked kingdoms. My Father uh, in this nation, Marakiti in my life, all thrones of wicked kingdoms, be overthrown, be overthrown in the name of Jesus Christ, be overthrown, be overthrown. As I pray in the Holy Ghost, I decree an overthrowing. I we overthrow all the thrones of wicked kingdoms in our lives, in our churches, in our towns, in our families, in our cities, in our nation. Marakete brozuka da barata, jada baraka da baraza da barata, jada baraka da baraba da bau, jada barata, buraka da baraba da bazata. Mara, come on, somebody, overthrow. We overthrow the thrones. We overthrow. The thrones of wicked kingdoms in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We overthrow according to Haggai chapter 2 22. We overthrow all the thrones of wicked, of wicked kingdoms. We overthrow them. They will not function. Even demonic altars, even demonic thrones in this nation and in this city, in my life, in my territory, Marakiti Brozuka, you will not prevail. We overthrow you. Be overthrown. Be overthrown in the name of Jesus Christ, shada baraka da baraka da baraka da sata, baraka da baraka da baraka da shada barata, baraka da baraka zada baraka da baraka da baraka da baraka da baraka da baraka zata, baraka da baraka da baraka da baraka zata, shada baraka da baraka da baraka da zata, baraka da baraka da baraka da baraka zata, shada baraka da baraka da baraka da baraka zata, shada baraka da baraka da baraka da baraka zata, ba ah shada. Shada baraka da baraba sata, shata praga da ba, baraka da baraba bo sata, borahire marresura, shada baraka do sha, marresura, borati bro sata, marresura shada ba hamregata. Are suda kashada ba burra sude mahande bro kata shate prukan mare suda bahanda. I tell you, there's a heavy presence of God that has just come down. There is a heavy presence of God, my Father. As your presence is flowing, let it cover our nation. Overthrow every demonic altar in our lives, in our families and nation. Oh, overthrow them, Jehovah God. Marrekede barra subregata. Borrakidi brozuta bragata. Borrake arre hadi arre arre. Or ati brosuda hande broka da barata. Arre kotushe da bahum bregata. Marre sude ba. Borre disude kashura. Borre turisi da ham bregata. Borre gidi busha da barande. Marre tu tego brusi da bahum bregata. Borre kidi busuda ba. Borre hara hara hara. Borre sure ham bregata. Borre sure hature ham bregata. Burre sude ma hambrega tore hambrega ta jabro kubra subre gambro goti ya hambrega repuke brumbragata we glorify you we magnify you we exalt you Lord marre kubre mandore subre gahata burre kide brozuka Father overthrow them overthrow the thrones of the wicked marra kada baraba subre gazata burre kuda brosida baranda marra kada baraba zata render useless their sacrifice. 
their evil sacrifices. Ripo kumbra gada barra sorega umbra gata. Rekuma resuke daba umbra gata. Marra gada bada bada bazuka. Rakada bada bada bazata. Open your mouth and pray according to Second Timothy four eighteen. Four eighteen. You are going to ask the Lord to preserve you and our nation unto his heavenly kingdom tell him preserve and preserve me unto your heavenly kingdom preserve my nation preserve my family unto your heavenly kingdom Harekuba, king of kings and lord of lords preserve me and my nation preserve me and my family uh, unto your heavenly kingdom unto your heavenly kingdom I want you to understand there is nothing wrong with me it is just the intensity of the presence of God as we usher in his kingdom things are shifting in the realm of the supernatural things are shifting in the natural Preserve me unto your heavenly kingdom. Preserve my children unto your heavenly kingdom. Preserve my nation unto your heavenly kingdom. Preserve all those who are near and dear. And dear to me, unto your heavenly kingdom. Shadaba Kamrozuda Barata. Shadabara Kadabarata. Now we're going to, to pray according to Hebrews 1 8. The Bible talks about the scepter of his kingdom. The scepter of his kingdom. We are going to ask the Lord to release the scepter of his kingdom. Hebrews chapter 8. I beg your pardon. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 8. Hebrews. Hebrews 1 8. The Bible says, But unto the Son, but unto the Son, he has, he, he saith, but unto the Son, he, he saith, Thy throne, your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. Is a scepter of your kingdom, the scepter, the symbol of power and authority. Open your mouth and tell him, according to that very scripture in Hebrews, tell him, my father, my God, let the scepter of your kingdom be released in this season. Let the scepter of your kingdom be released in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, my God, let the scepter of your kingdom be released. Let the scepter of your kingdom be released upon this nation. Be released, Jehovah God, to handle and to deal and to deal with every evil demon demonic scepter to break it into pieces let your scepter let your scepter of your kingdom the scepter of your kingdom be released be released my father on our behalf on behalf of our nation open your mouth and tell him i seek first According to Matthew 6, 33, tell him, I seek first the kingdom of God. I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the things are added unto me. Peace is added unto me and my nation. Joy is added unto me. I seek first the kingdom of God. Make that declaration because I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the things that are added unto me. All these other things are added unto me. Peace is added unto my nation. Stability is added unto me. Long life prosperity is added unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Now we're going to pray Psalm 72 verse 8. Marrake de brozuka. Psalms 72 and verse 8. Psalms is at the center of your Bible. Shadabagan de brosuda barata. 72 and verse 8. Mashadabarande. 72 verse 8 and the Bible says to me there he shall have dominion also he shall have dominion also from this from sea to sea and from the river unto the ends of the earth he shall have dominion he shall have dominion open your mouth and say right now King of Kings and Lord of Lords break in pieces and 
and consume every demonic kingdom that resists your kingdom in this nation and in our lives in Jesus name King of Kings and Lord of Lords Rapoke de Brozuka break in pieces and consume every demonic kingdom that resists your kingdom that resists your kingdom of peace that resists your kingdom of righteousness that resists your kingdom of joy and peace in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ Mashada Barata Bagata Borreke de Borra Subregada Barata Jada Barraga de Borbo Shada Barata Raka de Barada Baradu Maraca de Baraba Zada Barata Jada Baraca de Baraba Baraba Zata Jada Baraca de Baraba 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 Zata Raka de Baraba Baraba Zata The last prayer point on that is going to be Daniel Daniel chapter 7 and 22 and the scriptures say uh, we're going to ask the Lord let all dominions dominions let all dominions in plural let all dominions serve and obey you O Lord let all dominions you're going to ask the Lord according to Daniel 7 22 and the prayer point is let all dominions let all dominions serve and obey you O Lord in the name of Jesus as I pray this day let all dominions serve and obey you in Jesus name let all dominions in this nation serve and obey you O Lord in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we have made our decrease for today in regards yeah we've made our decrease today in regards to what we have ushered in the kingdom now we want us to um, if God permits us if time permits today in the next 20 uh, 24 minutes 24 minutes to pray for the prayers of our of our the 18th day of our fasting so we want us to um right now to deal with the spirit of not enough spirit of not enough give me matthew chapter 14 15 to 20 matthew 14 uh, 15 to 20 and we will look at also let us look matthew give me matthew 15 uh, i mean 14 matthew 14 and Matthew 14, 14, 15 to 20. And the scriptures, uh, the scriptures decree and declare. Matthew um, 14, 15 to 20. It says, and when it was evening, and when it was ev- evening. Uh, oh, Matthew 14, Matthew 14, Matthew 14 from verse 15 to 20 and when it was evening his disciples came to him saying this is a desert place and the time is now past send the multitude away that they may go into the villages by and by themselves victuals but jesus saith said unto them they need not to depart give you them to eat and they say unto him we have here but five loaves and two fishes and said bring them hither to me and he commanded the multitudes to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fishes and looking up and uh, and looking up to heaven he blessed the uh, he blessed and broke and broke and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude and they did all eat and were filled and they took up the the, 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 the fragments that remained Two baskets full. Yeah, and let us look at Matthew 25, 6 to 12. Matthew 25, 6 to 12. Matthew 25, 6 to 12. Matthew says, 6 to 12. It says, And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye uh, rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Verse 10. And while they went to buy, 
the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut afterward also afterward came also the other virgins saying lord lord open to us verse 12 but he answered and said verily i say unto you i know you not john chapter 2 and verse 3 to 7 john chapter 2 verse 3 to 7 john chapter 2 verse 3 to 7 john chapter 2 verse 3 to 7 and when they wanted wine the mother of jesus saith unto him they have no wine jesus saith unto her woman what have i to do with thee mine hour is not yet come his mother saith unto the servants whatsoever he saith unto you do it six and there was set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews containing two or three thakins apiece Jesus saith unto them fill the water pots with water and they fill them up to the brim right Isaiah 28 Isaiah 28 19 to 20 Isaiah Isaiah 28 19 and 20 Isaiah 28 19 and 20 there we go from the time that it goeth forth it shall from the time that it goeth forth it shall take you for morning by morning shall it morning by morning shall it pass over by day and by night and it shall be a vexation only to understand the report only to understand the report for the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it and the covering narrower than that he can wrap himself in and now Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 says now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask that we ask or think according to the power that worketh within us we have looked at that uh, we are dealing with the spirit of not enough and all those scriptures have indicated where there is not enough but the last scripture tells us in Ephesians 3 20 that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us mm -hmm. so now we are going to make these prayers dealing with uh, the spirit of not enough yeah we're going to deal with it in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god satan is a liar i'm just turning up a little bit of my music a little bit yes okay the first prayer point is gonna be thank and bless the el shaddai the all sufficient yeah the almighty thank the el shaddai god thank and bless the El Shaddai God. Don't waste time because we don't have much time. We only have 27 minutes. Begin to thank and bless the El Shaddai God. The one that is more than enough. Somebody begin to thank him. Tell him, King of kings and Lord of lords, I thank and bless you Jehovah El Shaddai. My God, the one that is more than enough. I don't care what the situation is. Begin to bless him. Begin to thank God and bless El Shaddai. Thank and bless the El Shaddai God. The El Shaddai God the more than enough father i thank you i bless you i exalt you i magnify you in my personal life in my family in my ministry i bless you and praise you and i thank you as the el shaddai god i acknowledge you this morning as the el shaddai god the one that is more than enough the one that is more than enough oh you're more than enough you're more than that more 
than I could ever ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Now thank him for his divine provision. Begin to thank him. Father God, I thank you for your divine provision. Thank you for the provision, uh, divine provision of wisdom. Wisdom to expand. Wisdom to expand my capacity. Wisdom to win. Wisdom to achieve. Wisdom to succeed in every arena of my life. Thank you for your divine provision. Financial faith provision. All manner of provision. Somebody thank him. I said, thank God. Begin to thank him for his divine provision. God provides for you. Provides healing. Provides wisdom. Provides open doors. Thank him for his divine provision. King of kings and Lord of lords, Jehovah Jireh. I thank you for your divine provision for my life, for my ministry, for my city, for my nation, and for all those who are near and dear to me. Father, I thank you for your divine provision in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to thank him the one that fed the children of Israel in the desert for 40 years Father God I thank you El Shaddai I thank you the God who is more than enough the one that fed the children of Israel in the wilderness for 40 years Lord I thank you I praise you you who fed them for 40 years without running dry I acknowledge you in my life in this season of my life I thank you Jadabarende Brozukadabarata my Thank you for your divine provision in Jesus' name. Thank you, my father, the God who fed the Israelites for 40 years in the desert. You are the same God who is able to do exceedingly. You are the same God who is blessing me financially. You are the same God who is expanding me. You are the same God who is blessing me to buy lands, to buy, buy properties, to be free, to be financially free. Somebody bless him. Tell him the one that fed the children of Israel in the wilderness for 40 years. You are my father. You are my God. You are my Lord and my defense. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank him. The, for he is our great provider and the fountain of abundance in our lives my father my God I bless you El Shaddai I thank you because you are my great provider and my fountain of abundance in my life you are the fountain of abundance in my life I give you praise and I give you glory Jade brosuka da barata Jade brosika da baranda Maragede brosuda baranda Thank you for your ah. You are my great provider. You are our great provider. And you are the fountain of abundance in our lives. You are the fountain of abundance in my ministry. You are the fountain of abundance in all my spiritual sons and my biological children. You are the fountain of abundance in all my covenant friends, my covenant pastor friends. You are my shadow. Jade brosuka, jade brosuka da barata, jade baraka da barada basuka, baraka da barada de brosuda ba, baraka de brosuda baranda, raka da barada de brosuka. Open your mouth according to Matthew 14, 15 to 20. Jade baraka, which was the first scripture we read about the not enough, about the bread they needed to send people because all they had is five, two fish and five loaves. But open your mouth and say, I decree that the hand of the Lord will destroy every spirit of not enough in my life. Somebody open your mouth and say, I decree and I declare that the hand of the Lord I decree and declare that the hand of the Lord will destroy every spirit of not enough operating in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Make that decree. Pray. Make that decree, child of God. I decree and I declare that the hand of the Lord as I pray, the hand of the Lord is destroying every spirit of not enough operating in my life and destiny, operating in my life and ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, open that holy mouth and declare, by the power of the word of God, I command now, let the power in the name of Jesus, let the power in the name of Jesus destroy the spirit of not enough functioning in my life 
functioning in my ministry, functioning in my business. In the name of Jesus Christ, open that mouth. Let the power in the name of Jesus, let the power in the name of Jesus destroy the spirit of not enough functioning in my life, functioning in my business, functioning in my family, functioning in my ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us continue. Open your mouth and tell him, my father, my God, let the divine power of increase and multiplication begin to function in every area of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Open that mouth and declare, let the divine power of increase and multiplication begin to function in every area of my life. Somebody, it is not just a word you're saying, pray it in your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them not be empty words. Let it be a prayer from your spirit. Let the divine power begin to see that possibility. Begin to see the magnitude of God. Begin to see the power and the provision of God. The majesty of God. As you make this decrease and say, let the power, let the divine power of, of increase and multiplication begin to function in every area of my life in Jesus' mighty name. Open your mouth and say, Holy Spirit of God, by your power, destroy the mindset of not enough in my thinking. Holy Spirit of God, by your power, destroy the mindset of not enough in my mindset in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, continue to pray and tell him the lifestyle and the character of not enough be terminated in my life and destiny in Jesus' name. Decree the lifestyle and the character of not enough be destroyed in my life and destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ open your mouth and say oh Lord of plenty oh open that mouth and say oh Lord of plenty oh Lord of plenty and more than enough oh Lord of plenty and more than enough visit my life visit my life with your power of increase in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord of plenty and more than enough visit my life visit my life with your power of increase in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord of more than enough visit my life visit my ministry visit my marriage visit the lives of my sons in the Lord and in the flesh visit oh God my children in the spirit and in the flesh visit Visit my mentors. Visit my spiritual father. Visit Jehovah God. My covenant friends. Visit them with your power of increase. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit all our partners on tack. Visit Jehovah God. Oh God of plenty and more than enough. Visit our partners on tack. Visit them with your power of increase. Visit Jehovah God. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 where we have already said that is able to do exceedingly abundantly for God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we think and ask of him according to the power that what according to his power that worketh within us now make your decree and say by the authority of the power that is at work in my life somebody open your mouth and say by the power by the authority of the power that is at work in my life I reject Reject. I refuse the manifestation of the spirit of not enough in my life in Jesus' name. Oh, by the authority of the power that is at work in my life. I reject, I refuse the manifestation of the spirit of not enough in my life, in my ministry, in the name of Jesus Christ. Shata pragata, repo kadabarata, jadabarakadabarabasuka. Let the power, in the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and say, let the power that is at work in me 
bring me to a place of greatness in my generation in Jesus mighty name somebody open your mouth and say let the power that is at work in me let the power that is at work in me let the power that is at work in me bring me to a place of greatness in my generation in Jesus mighty name Matthew 25 6 to 12 we know the story of the virgins the foolish and the wise open your mouth and make this decree so I decree that my head will not lack the oil of the Holy Spirit I decree that my head will not lack the oil of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name somebody decree I decree that my head will not lack the oil of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I receive enough grace and insight open your mouth and say I decree and I declare that I receive enough grace and insight for my breakthrough in this season in Jesus mighty name somebody declare I receive enough grace and insight for my breakthrough in this season in the name of Jesus Christ I receive somebody receive grace and insight grace and insight for breakthrough in this season in Jesus name I receive enough grace and insight for my breakthrough in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and decree. Say, Lord, make me a blessing unto my generation. Open your mouth and tell him, Lord, make me a blessing unto my generation. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, make me a blessing unto my generation. Somebody pray with all your might. Pray with all your might. Lord, make me a blessing unto my generation. Cry out to the Lord. Tell him, Lord, make me a blessing unto my generation in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise as I make this prayer, O oh Lord, arise and make me a blessing unto my generation. Ripa kada barata, jada brosuda barande brosuda barata, jada barra kada barata, jada barra kada barra subre gadanda. Somebody pray and tell him, O oh Lord, make me a blessing unto my generation. And now open your mouth and and make this prayer. Say, so make me a provider to those that are in need. My Father, my God, make me a provider to those who are, to those that are in need in the household of the Lord and beyond it in Jesus name make me a provider my father my God make me a provider to those that are in the house of the Lord and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ King of kings and Lord of lords everlasting father the creator of the heavens and the earth make me a provider to those that are in the household in the household of the Lord and beyond it in Jesus name that's my prayer king of kings that's my prayer lord of lords make me a blessing make me a provider to those that are in the in the household to those that are in need to those that are in need in the household of the Lord and beyond it in Jesus mighty name open that mouth and say the fire and the zeal of the Lord the, I decree and I declare that the fire and the zeal of the Lord the Lord the zeal of God Rokida Baranda the fire and the zeal of God in my life shall not go out in the name of Jesus decree decree and declare I decree and I declare that the fire and the zeal of God in my life shall not go out in the name of Jesus Christ Shata Brozaka Maragada Barata Jada Barakada Barata Jada Barakada Barra Zobregazata Jada Barakada Barra Zobregazata Maracada Barra Zobregazata 
barata jada baraka da bara 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 Isaiah 28 verse 18 to 19 28 8, 28 19 to 20 we already read that scripture I make this decree said today I decree that the end of every spirit of enough open your mouth and say today I decree the end of every spirit of not enough flowing in my life flowing in my family flowing in my business and ministry in the name of Jesus Christ open your mouth and say today I I decree the end of every spirit of not enough flowing in my life flowing in my family flowing in my business and ministry in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ open your mouth and say by the power in the blood of Jesus I decree that shame I decree that reproach I decree that losing of opportunity small dreamer and operating below average be destroyed forever in my life in the name of Jesus open your mouth and say by the power in the blood of Jesus I decree that the, that shame I decree that reproach I decree that losing of opportunities I decree that small dreams I decree that small dream, dreams and operating below, average is being destroyed, is destroyed forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed forever. Be destroyed According to Numbers 20 verse 11, make this decree, Numbers 20 and verse 11. Say, so I decree the release of anointing for more than enough upon my life. I decree the release of anointing for more than enough upon my household, upon my family, upon my children, upon my ministry, yes, upon my business, upon my career. I decree the, the release of the anointing for more than enough upon my life in the name of Jesus Christ and upon all those who are near and dear to me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree the manifestation of, of uh, excellent spirit of God upon my life and destiny and upon the lives and the destinies of all those who are near and dear to me in the name of Jesus Christ uh, open your mouth and say I receive the anointing for doing outstanding for doing outstanding breakthrough in Jesus mighty name open your mouth and say I receive a fresh wine from the Lord today. I receive a fresh wine from the Lord today in Jesus mighty name. This is my season. Open your mouth and decree. Say I decree and I declare that this is my season of overflowing joy, of overflowing peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare. Say, I receive my long awaited, I receive my long awaited lifting, I receive my long awaited lifting. In the name of Jesus, I receive my long awaited lifting. In the mighty name of 
Jesus Christ. Somebody open your holy mouth and say my ladder of blessing will not break in the name of Jesus Christ. The ladder of blessing of all those who are near and dear to me shall not break in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your holy mouth and say the ladder, my ladder, my ladder of blessing will not break in the name of Jesus Christ. Barata, open the mouth and say the of I decree and I declare the overflowing wind of change, wind of change is on my side. Open that mouth and declare. I decree and I declare that the overflowing wind of change is on my side. Is on my side in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Open that mouth and say, I decree and I declare that God Almighty is on my side. And on the side of all those who are near and dear to me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that the Holy Spirit is on my side. Open your mouth and declare that the anointing of God Jadabakata say the word of God is on my side. I decree and I declare that the word of God is on my side. In Jesus name, open your mouth and declare the anointing of God is on my side. I decree and I declare heaven is on my side and the earth is on my side. No weapon that is formed against me. No weapon of man. No weapon. No power. No man can be against me. Heaven is on my side. No power. No man can be against me. Because God is on my side. Heaven and earth is on my side. Therefore no power. No man can be against me. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you, everlasting Father. We honor you, we reverence you. Yes, we decree and declare God Almighty is on my side. I decree and declare the Holy Spirit is on my side. I decree and I declare the Word of God is on my side. Rakadabaraka, the anointing is on my side. I decree and I declare heaven, heaven and earth is on my side. Therefore, no power, no man can be against me. Jadabakanda in the name of Jesus Rakadabara Zobregata Jadabara Gadabarata Shaka Brozuda Barande Brozuka Jadabara Kadabarabazata Barakadabarabazata Marakadabarabazata Jadabara Kadabarabazata I receive the anointing to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I think or imagine according to the power that worketh in me Marakadabara Zadaba in the name of Jesus, Shada Barata, Shada Bakum Rezada Barata Brazata, Shaka da Baraga da Baraba Suka da Barata. We bless you, mighty God. Shada Bagate Brazuka, Raka da Basata, Shada Baraka da Barata, Shada Baraka da Baraba Zata, Shada Baraka da Barata. I command the morning this day. Open your mouth and say, I command the morning this day to take hold of the ends of the earth and to shake the wicked out of it. I command the earth this morning to take hold of the ends of the earth and shake the wicked out of it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree, I declare, I will have dominion over the devil in the morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, make the outgoings of the morning to rejoice in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, I receive your loving kindness this morning in the name of Jesus said, Lord, as I pray, release the beauty of your holiness from the womb of the morning for my sake, for the sake of our ministry, for the sake of all my partners, for the sake of all men and women that tithe and offer into our ministry in the name of Jesus Christ, release 
the beauty of your holiness from the womb of the morning on behalf of our pa- pa- of our tag partners on behalf of all my sons and daughters on behalf of all the financiers in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God open your mouth and say let your light break forth in my life as the morning today let your light break forth in my life let your light break forth in my ministry let your light break forth in my children's lives in my career in my business as the morning in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God somebody bless the Lord thank him thank him in the name of Jesus Christ thank him thank him for answering your prayers thank him for releasing you from the spirit of not enough thank you because I am free from the spirit of not enough I thank you because the chapter of not enough in my life is closed by the blood of Jesus Christ we we celebrate your presence in our lives today thank you for your presence thank you for your abiding presence. Thank you for your manifest presence in our lives. We give you reverence. We give you glory. We give you honor today. Father, we bless you. Father, we give you praise. As we lay down to sleep today, let your anointing cover us. We place ourselves, our family members, all those who are near and dear to us, we place them under the covering and the anointing of an early riser. We place our lives under the anointing and the covering of the blood of Jesus this morning. Father, we thank you for honoring our prayers and answering our prayers. We thank you because this is the day that you have made. We determine to rejoice and flourish in this day. On this day, our destiny help us, will locate us. Oh, Father, we thank you because on this day we recover, we receive sevenfold, a hundredfold in Jesus' mighty name. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. It is in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that we have prayed and believe that God has honored and heard our petitions. I greet you all once again. Welcome those of you who have joined us to pray with us. Those of you who have joined us lastly towards the end of the streaming. We bless God for our, your lives. I pray that God will continue to expand you. God will continue to bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. On the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, may God continue to favor you and open new doors in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hey, Brother Reed, thank you for staying with me all throughout and the rest of you, my sons and daughters in the Lord. I bless God for you. I pray that God will continue to expand your ministries, your lives, your endeavors. I pray that God will favor you. I pray that God will expand you, that God will fight for you. I decree and I declare that when trouble at, uh, strikes on the left, may God take you through the left. When st- trouble strikes on the left, may God take you through the right. And when st- trouble tries to strike from behind. May God shield you with the shield of his power and of his glory. In Jesus' name, may God release angels to all to guard you and to keep you in Jesus' mighty precious name. We give praise and glory to God for you in Jesus' name. I pray that as you lay down to sleep, some of you, um, I pray that uh, the spirit of God will minister to you. I shut the realm of evil dreams. I declare that you will not receive demonic nightmares. I decree I declare in the name of Jesus that the voice of a stranger you shall not hear but the voice of the good shepherd you and I shall hear in Jesus name. Let the God who who awakens our ears to hear awaken your ear and mine as we lay down to hear from heaven. Let God take us into the realm of the spirit and reveal his heart and mind to us. May the spirit of God take you on a journey tonight and reveal to you the secrets that are hidden from the sons of men, hidden from ages, the things that the eyes have not seen and the ears have not heard. Spirit of the living God, we are available in Jesus' name, the son of the living God. I love you all. Keep praying for 
um, father we remember our brothers in Pakistan father even at the beginning as we prayed and we summoned your kingdom father trouble they are troublers trouble they are troublers those who have arrested our team trouble them Jehovah God trouble them let their lives begin to go to a countdown so that they may re- begin to consider and know it is your hand and it is because of them and let them release them in Jesus name we forbid the spirit of death it will not function in Jesus name we give you praise we give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ God bless you to rest God bless you God bless you Moses God bless you Bernice God bless you yes I receive in the name of Jesus Christ I receive in Jesus mighty name thank you for your wishes Let's continue praying. And thank you for your prayers. I receive the more grace. Mary Mwakalu. Yes, I receive the more grace. Banish, I receive. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you, everyone. And let's continue praying for Kenya. Let us continue to pray for our elections um, um, that are coming through in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Caroline, I receive the more grace upon my life. All of you, I receive all those graces upon my life to sustain me, to increase to prevail that I may remain relevant in my generation and unto you in Jesus mighty precious name continue to pray for uh, Dallas uh, Texas November meeting pray for Frankfurt and Berlin in Jesus mighty name and other meetings as they may come forth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the son of the living God I love you all and I declare the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and a sweet fellowship of the blessed Holy Spirit is with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy follows us all the days of our lives as we continue to dwell in the presence of the Lord now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you for all of you for your participation. Thank you, Apostle Lee. Thank you, my son Moses, Banish, and all the rest of you. Mama Jen, for the scriptures you've been putting through. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you very much. Mama Jen in Juguna and all the rest of you. I love you, Tracy, and all of you. I can't mention a few of you, but all of you. I love you, so I say shalom and have a, a godly night. Amen. Bye.